rituals of morning pages every morning and look the bunny that I made kind of cute even if it's a bit toddlerish a lot of my crafts is a bit toddlerish but that's okay so one of the things I'm working on is making this kind of rag wreath for the door um, I've seen these online and I'm not quite sure if I like how it looks but I'm determined to finish it basically these are off cuts from cutting the log cabin quilt like when you have like tiny bits of left of a piece of uh, fabric that you can't do anything else with so yeah I'm trying to figure out how to do that but yeah there we go So I finally finished this one. It was really, really good. I enjoyed it. You can hear the kids singing next door. But yeah, I really enjoyed the book. Um, I only had the last of the stories left, which um, was um, really good. But somehow I just didn't get started on it. So... Yeah, I do quite like um, historical non-fiction at the moment and anything to do with death in particular. So, call me morbid. I really have to find the solution for a better laptop stand because this is really annoying me a lot. So here we go, water. I shall drink all that water. Not a lot of space, but it will do. And uh, yeah, this is my Pilates mat. If you don't know, Pilates mats are thicker than yoga mats, so there is a difference. Um, and I definitely need the thicker one to be able to do things on, you know, my back and my knees and stuff like that. So, yeah, the joys of getting old. Before I start, bright and early, look at that. Already half a bottle drank and it's not even, right, it's not even eight yet. It's 7.33 right now. So, yeah, awesome. Asthma is really bad, but we're oh, so silly as the kid would say and uh, I can definitely think I can I think the Pilates might help because it forces me to take some deep breaths and sometimes when you're out of breath that's all that's needed is to make yourself take deep breaths this top is legit one of my favorite things I've ever sewn love the colors I just love everything about it. But anyway, we got headphones, which means that we will be cutting out a pair of trousers. Mm. Also, can we just talk about the fact that I am now clearly in the age group that gets retirement village mailers, which is a little bit depressing. But first, a brain snack, apple and peanut butter. It's Meridian peanut butter if you're in the UK. It's the only peanut butter I entertain and purchase. So, yeah, I love it. Fun fact, when the kid was little, like a baby, I could not eat peanut butter for ages because it reminded me of something way too much. If you know, you know. And now this beast has shown up trying to hinder my process of setting up what you're doing boy what you're doing yeah you're trying to tell me something i'm gonna get the sewing machine out you hate it so I think I might have just about enough 
um, to make the trousers out of this, but I might have to use a different fabric for the waistband or I might have to piece the waistband together. We shall see. We shall just see. So here are the pattern pieces. I'm going to um, make it with um, pockets because, you know, when you sew for yourself, you have to put pockets in everything, you know, just trust me on this. And um, yeah, so we shall see. As you can see here, you know, like this, it was just a lot of um, um, adjustments and stuff. Um, because I'm going to make it with an elasticated waist. I don't have to put the darts in or anything like that. Um, so, yeah, we shall see. We shall see how that works out. Also, little assistant being very cute. So, I had to shorten the whole thing a little bit because the fabric isn't long enough. And the uh, pattern is um annoying so yeah anyway what is nice though is that the off cuts here are just enough to cut out the pockets i always love that oh god i think i just made a mistake of epic proportions because i thought i could just not put darts in and it would be wide enough to get on but I don't think it will be even with a waistband uh, I mean I've cut it out now I'm just gonna put a waistband on and we shall see but I don't think it will fit damn it that is the problem when you learn how to do a block. My brain needs to do things several times and kind of I need videos, I need instructions, I need to think about it for a long time. And when I don't do that, then I make stuff like that. I mean, this fabric was left over and so I don't feel too bad about it. I didn't feel like, you know, I had to be too precious about it. But uh, it is annoying nonetheless. I shall sew it up. Shall I sew it up? It's kind of pointless, isn't it? But yeah. Anyway. Not gonna lie. I'm feeling really rather shit about it. It's one of those frustrating things, yeah. It's just like... You know, and I feel frustrated. So I'm just going to wind because if I went to frustration, it usually helps. It is really difficult when commercial sewing patterns don't fit you for any aspect. And you have to learn how to make a sewing pattern fit. But then also that fitted sewing pattern in different fabrics won't fit you. And then you think, oh, yeah, I make it as a drawstring thing or, you know, elasticated waist or whatever. And it's just really, really difficult, right? Because um, it would be just nice to have something fit out of the box. But then, as I keep telling myself, trousers that I buy never fit me either. It's always a compromise. And so I really, really want to crack this. I really want to crack this. So I'm sort of coming round to the thing of sewing these pyjama pants up with um, a fake zip. Like there's not going to be a zip there, but there's going to be an opening. And the waistband that I'm going to elasticate at the waist. And I'm not quite sure about, you know, what I'm going to do. Uh, about the front because obviously who wants to have pajama pants with um you know <laughs> buttons no one um so i'm not quite sure what i'm gonna do there um but it is a learning curve and no matter 
you know, I mean, it's happened now anyway, you know, it's like done, the fabric is cut, I should have thought about it more, you know, woulda, shoulda, coulda kind of thing, you know, it doesn't really matter whatever I say now, it has happened, it's done, but I'm still, you know, it's like failing at something like this feels to me like death, you know, it's like proper awful like you know like I made something so awful that it had like an impact on everything it is and I know you know the logical part of me realizes that this is stupid you know because it's just it's just a pair of pants and yeah the cost of the fabric sucks but you know um at the same time it also is not the end of the world, but to me, right now, it does feel like the end of the world. And it would be lying if I said it didn't, you know, because it just does. And it's every time like that. Every time like that, something goes wrong. That's how I feel. And people say, oh, yeah, the more you fail at something, the easier it gets. It really doesn't for me, you know. It's just that I then learn to accept that that's how I feel and move on. Um, I can't ever brush things off. It just doesn't work for me. I'm not a brusher off a thing. And if you ever see me brushing things off, then that's a mask because internally there's no brushing off ever. So yeah, but hey ho. Yesterday, it's interesting because yesterday I was, I'm listening to the Here's Exactly What To Do podcast thingy by Mel Robbins and I was listening to the episode on frustration and while um, I could not 100% relate to everything she said, something, you know, that felt very true and very real was that frustration is inevitable, you know, and I, and I knew that. You know, I knew that. But the talking about it is the important thing. So that's me talking and sharing about it. That really resonated with me. Because if I don't let it out, it just festers. So I need to say it. And I need to feel really... I need to allow myself to feel low about it. If you see what I mean. Because if I don't allow myself to feel low about it. Then it just lingers. And it becomes a new script in my head that I keep telling myself when something isn't going well. So in order for it to not become a script, I have to allow myself that moment to feel the feeling. Yeah.